Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out this new 4-in-1 ESC from Heck RC. It's a 30 amp Beale Heli S 4-in-1 ESC. It includes an XD60 connector plus a capacitor and you get some um, micro connectors as well. And it comes all this in a nice little plastic case. Also looks like they're including some nylon standoffs. And the XD60 connector comes with 16 gauge wire and the connector is a little on the short side. And the capacitor is a 35 volt 470 microfarad capacitor. Okay, so here's the board itself, and it's a 30 amp EC bursting up to 35 amps. Uh, Beale Heli S, so it does D shot 600. And then it's a 2 to 6 S LiPo capable. This has a 5 volt regulator on board. I'm not sure if it's this one or this one, I think they're both regulators, but it's a 5 volt up to 2 amps, which is kind of nice because a lot of flight controllers don't have. Um, of a, a, a strong regulator on them, so oftentimes you'll be overtaxing your devices or over, overtaxing the flight controller. It might reset if you are drawing too much current. But this is uh, this uh, ESC gives you another place to tap into five volts for uh, additional devices if you're overloading your flight controller. A lot of times these four one ACs don't come with ABC, so it's kind of a nice addition. So you get five volts here and then V bat over here, and it looks like there's a lot of capacitors on here, so it looks like. Uh, we have some pretty good filtration on these ECs. It looks like uh, you can either connect this through pins, and I, I assume that this uh, will meet with a HackRC flight controller board, so you can get direct pins there for direct connection, or if you're going to be using a alternate uh, flight controller, they have a, a micro connector here, and you can probably use either this one. There's two different connectors that are included, one with uh, bare wires and then one with a another connector, so assuming you have an, a board a flight controller that has uh, a similar size connector, you could probably rearrange the wires and plug that in directly. So I'll have this in a build at some point in the future. Probably going to end up using this in a test rig for like doing motor testing, etc. or stuff like that. I'll probably have some videos in the future where this EAC is going to show up, so just stay tuned for those. Anyway, it's going to do it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.